Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Super Mario 64 All-Stars, and Super Mario 64. You might be wondering why I'm going back into Super Mario 64. Well, there are still a few things we haven't actually seen yet. Like, if I press something like the A button, or possibly the B button, we can see that we've brought a hand onto the, the start screen. We can also see that there's a little animation that plays whenever you're not going too fast. Where Mario has two stars with him and he falls asleep. Kind of. But also, we can use the, the A button or B button to mess with Mario. And I believe if we hold down the right button, it keeps whatever position we m mold Mario's face into as it is, so. So let's do a little bit of that, and then we can move Mario's cap right through his eyes, or like drag it all the way up. And I think we can also rotate Mario with the right stick as well, so. And then put that there. And mouth, let's put you right there. And then it's a work of art, basically. Although, I believe we can also still move Mario's moustache, or am I wrong? Moustache? Cheeks? Something? I'm like so sure. Am I wrong? Did they change it? Ah, I guess I changed it. Or I'm just wrong. I could just be wrong. Anyway. Oh, can I move Mario's eyebrows? There's- I- I feel like there's a l oh, no, we can grab his cheeks. Look at that face. Mario Pog. Oh my goodness. I love messing around with Mario's face a lot. It looks like he's just turned his moustache into, like, shades now. This is crazy. Also, oh, he's moving now! Oh, he's moving! Because I'm not touching anything and he's still the same. Oh, I'm gonna let go of that now. Anyway, that's that done. Also... On the file select screen, we can also go to score by selecting score, and we can select any file, no save data, but it has to have, so it has to have save data, and we can see all the levels that we've been in, all the stars for them, and all the coins we've, like the, the best score of uh, coins in each level, including, and also the 100 coin star on the side there. There's also the castle secret stars, the Bowser red coin stars count as, uh, Castle Secret Stars. Basically anything that's not in one of these 15 levels is a Castle Secret Star, so... Anyway. Oh. What'd I do? Oh, I guess if you press the A button or B button, it shows you... the rank. So it's all rank A. That's actually interesting, I've not seen that before. Anyway, we can also go to Copy File. Which means we can select a file that's been any amount of progress in it, I guess. And we can select a new file to save over, I guess. So now we've got two 100%ed files, except we're not going to keep it because we're going to go to erase, and we're going to erase any file that we don't want to keep. I guess I'm sure. And now it's just how it was before. That's all of the file select stuff done. And now, we're going to be starting a new file. So... The previous playthrough was what I wanted to be a basic average playthrough, I guess. But now, though we've 100% of the game, I want to go through the game again, probably 100%, I'm not sure at this point. It probably won't take too long. And I want to try and get through it as quickly as possible, not like going to be skipping texts, all of the things, just all the signs, and we're going to be trying to use a little bit more skill than I did, like I used in my previous playthrough, so. Let's go. Unfortunately, I'm still going to have a slight delay, which is going to mess me up a little bit. But, it's going to take a very short amount of time to get through some of this, so. Let's go. Starting off with long jumping just into oblivion. Hello, Lakitu. I'm just going to... Pass you. I know there's a way in speedrunning to skip him, but I don't know speedrunning strats, which is sad because 
I really wish I, I, I wish I did actually know speedrunning stat, stat, strats for an advanced playthrough, but I'm just gonna do what I can with what I've got. So anyway, let's just dive into this Bob and Battlefield now. Okay, so starting off, let's go to the top of the mountain, which should, won't take much time at all, considering I'm going the correct way, and not at all the wrong way. Because, once I get over here, I'm just gonna... Hang on. I know what I'm doing. Side flip, and then wall jump, and now I'm up here. That's a nice quick way to get up here. I guess you could also just use the flower warp to get there. About the same speed, but still, it's pretty good. You can't use the flower warp in the, uh, the Coop the Quick race, so... Okay, just warp there. And side flip up to King Bawom. Or the hope he doesn't grab me because I he can grab you. And then throw you. Like the purple Bawoms. Oh. Too far. Hang on. Hang on. Just let me get back up, please. Uh you you're on the edge, sir. Sir. Sir! You're on the edge. You need to get off the edge, please. Um can you like go a little bit further out? Thank you. Oh Mario, don't fall off the edge. Okay, there are some things I can't do any faster than I did in the previous playthrough, but still, there are a lot of things you can do, and a lot of things you, you can know that will just make life easier. Anyway, there we go. The first thing that I want to teach you, which I did like twice in my previous playthrough, is ground pound into a star. And you would just drop to the ground really quickly. Instead of having to jump up and then like float in the air for a few seconds and then fall down. And then grab the star. It's just ground pound, grab star. Done. So there we go. And now I think I'm actually going to go do the slide. I can probably do it in one go. You can also just side flip up these areas like that. The slide's not too much different. Womps is different though. Very different. I can't wait to get to Womps. Oh, and Cool Cool Mountain. Jolly Roger Bay is about the same. But anyway, let's just go. Go, go, go. <laughs> I'm probably not going to worry about 1-ups in this playthrough. Oh, I collected the 1-up though. It's begun. I said I wasn't going to worry about 1-ups last time, too. And we all know how that went. Well, so I'm going to quickly see if I can get the 1-up to shop here as well. Nope, apparently not. Cool. Come on. There we go. Ground pound to the star. Even if the star is inside of a box, you can actually ground pound underneath the box to make the box explode and then give you the star instantly. Which means you only have to jump once as well. So that's also very useful. Let's go get the star in here, since that's a box star that I can get easily. Go, 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 I think you can jump off the right there and still land on the platform below, which is also cool. I can also just jump, nope, not there. You can jump across that though. I don't think it makes it any faster, but you can do it, so. Now I'm just messing up. Which is sad. What I could do for this advanced run is not get all the stars and just get the really quick ones. Oh, I'm just thinking about a later level now and it made me happy. Oh, that's a good level I should go to. Okay. Just go. And then better position there, and then just like that. That's actually a better time than last time as well. Now I should actually better get the one up to spawn now. There it is. Anyway, let's grab this star, which I'm already ground pounding for. Just like that. Oh, I'm loving this playthrough already. Okay, we have three stars. Well, let's go back to uh, Bob Mom to start off. 
just because we haven't got everything there yet. And I do mean everything. Foot race with Cooper the Quick. I'm going to ignore that. I can get the stars out of order if I want to. And there's one that I want to get with the cannon right now. Okay. Let's hop in. And let's go. So, there's actually a nice easy way to get up to the island in the sky from here. Which is the cannon. Surprisingly, if we aim for exactly here with this cloud, or around this area with the cloud, I, I just remember it because it looks like Goofy. We can actually land right up here on the 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 on the sky and grab the star. Oh, I missed it. That's okay. I got it now. I remember how many how long it took me to get the first star in this level last time. It just took forever. Now I have four stars already. I can do foot race with Cooper the Quick. He's gonna take a shortcut, so I'm gonna take this shortcut I took to get out the mountain in the first star as well. And I'm gonna be waiting a while, because he, he he will take a while to get up the mountain. Oh, I don't want to lock the, the ground pound. I don't want to the ground pound. I want to. Oh, come on. Nice. Shaved off. Shaved off quite a bit of time. Except I still, it will still take about the same amount of time for the star because you have to wait for Creep to quick. There we go, 38 seconds. <laughs> no, we just need to wait. Oh, Creep the quick, how how far away are you? Oh my goodness, there he is. Zooming his way up. I like how much the camera zooms out on this platform. Also, some objects don't disappear when you're really far away from them, like the trees and the red coins. So if there's something hidden behind, like a red coin hidden behind something, you will usually be able to see it by being far away. Hello. There we go. Instantly grab the star. Oh, lovely. Now, I believe we're up to red coins, so I'm gonna get 100 coins at the same time, probably. Yep. Let's go, indeed. I don't know how long this is gonna take me, but that's okay. Was oh, it gonna hit the sign? Oh, I missed the sign somehow. I think you can break on the sign. I'm pretty sure. Oh, nice. I should really be getting those coins up in the air first as well. I have, for some reason, I don't remember getting the 100 coin star in this level. I definitely did because I have a, had 120 stars in the other profile, but yeah, it's just I'm just completely confused now. Let me also get this red coin while I'm here, since it's right there. There we go. I was on a lot of coins from that, but that might be enough to get me to 100 coins soonish. Oh, come on. Come on, Mario. Dive through you. Man, I love this game. <laughs> like, I know I just played through the whole thing and I'm playing through it again, but still, this this game is just... I like it. Oh, come on. No, oh, Goomba, you're just avoiding me so much. Oh my goodness, this log, though. Come on. Come on. You know... Oh, did I already do that one? I probably already did that one. You know what? <laughs> I might have done that already. As it turns out. Let's just grab all of that. Let's 
I might have done this one already as well. I can't remember which ones I did. I should have been ground pounding them. Oh well. Let's grab that. Also, if you dive and then flip up again, it's pretty fast to just dive over and over and over to get around. Oh, come on. Grab that red coin and that life. Now, I'm probably going to be in trouble with coins in a minute once I actually get more coins. Because I still don't have many from the sky, I guess. That's kind of a problem. Gonna grab you. Oh, coin, coin, coin. There it goes. That's all the coins from up here, other than the red coin. A bit lower down. Just gonna land up here. I can also probably grab a few coins that are just in the air here. Just like that. I don't know how many more coins I need. A few though. Ow. So rude. Nice. Let's get that red coin. It's just a bit out of the way. But that's okay. Grab you if I can. Oh my goodness, that coin just went straight up. Grab that. Nice. Now, which rich coins am I missing? This one over here. And then... Oh, the other one over there. Cool. That works. Oh, change up. No. Change up. Why? You're my friend, Link's Awakening. Okay, grab that. There we go. That's all the eight red coins. Now, we just need a few more coins. For the 100 coins. And I'm still a little bit concerned about how many coins I need left. Okay, there are these three here. I need like 10 more coins. What's that? Oh, five coins. I know how to count numbers. Other than counting letters. Okay. Get you. Oh, grab the coin, 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 grab the coin. Thank you. There should be a few more enemies down here that I can actually get coins from. As long as I don't lose the coins. Like I seem to have been just seconds ago. Okay, you and you. Nice. There's the 100 coin star. Let's just grab it instantly. Now let's go get the 8 red coin star. Oh my goodness, come on. Pretty sure just a regular wall jump works as well. It does. Okay, grab that. Oh, two, not long jump, a ground pound. Ah, oh, that didn't work at all. Okay then. That's fine. Well, I found the eight red coins. Let's head back in. Mario wings to the sky? Well, what am I gonna do? I don't have the wing cap. But what if I don't need the wing cap? Always has been. <laughs> anyway. So, 
If we get to the island in the sky without the wing cap, and if we hop in the cannon, if we just mash the the shoot button, it should just give us the coin in the air up there. That one's the hard one to get. And we can just get it by mashing the jump button enough. So now, let's head back up there again. Right up there. Oh my goodness, it's basically in line anyway. Okay. I'm probably going to take another shot after this one if I don't ac actually get all of these because I'm pretty sure some of these aren't line up, lined up correctly. But I think if I do actually get this on the shot... No, there is one that is part, part, we hi partly higher than the rest. I also need to possibly take another shot because I did miss one of the lower ones, unfortunately. It'd be interesting to put on overlay with that cloud and the... Um, and the, the floating island to see where you land. Okay. I'm hopping here. Let's see what's left. Well, there's a few left there, so let's try lower. Got those two? Just one left. Oh my goodness, I got hit by the Goomba I killed. How? Also, jump diving is also good for speed when you're trying to walk places. So just A or B and then Y. Please, 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 no. I'm trying to land inside of the cannon, from the cannon. But I keep, it's a bit hard to aim like directly onto it. Anyway, let's go like there-ish, a bit higher. Oh, and there it is. There we go. That's how it's done. And so is this. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm so glad I hit that from the cannon. The star, that is. That's amazing. Anyway, back into the level. <laughs> now we've got eight stars, we can do Bowser already. Bowser 1. Behind Chain Chomp Skate is the last star in this level. <laughs> so <laughs> let's get started. It shouldn't take too long, especially if you ground pound it quick, as quickly as possible onto the peg. Okay. Hit me. Okay, thank you. Now his time is reset, so I can just do this. If you're just mashing the A, or well, the jump and ground pound button at the same time, just mashing them, you can ground pound three times before the chain chomp actually gets to you. As long as you got the timing right. Anyway, ground pound that star. Already at nine stars. Oh, I'm pretty sure I got like four in my first... the first episode. So, let's go to another world. And let's break everything again. Okay, Womp's Fortress. This one's gonna be very fun. And believe me, I'm, I mean that. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Oh, I'm so looking forward to this. This is what I've been looking forward to since starting this, basically. Chip of Wamps block? I'm gonna leave that for now. Instead, I'm going to... side flip up here. Instead of trying to backflip, which can be a little bit faster to side flip. Let's go get this one over here. Okay. Let's get... Blast into the shoot into the wild blue. Easy. Now let's actually do Chip of Warmth's block because we need to actually get other things to open up. But that one's one we, that that shoot into the wild blue is one that we can get without doing their first star. It's quite interesting actually seeing what it looks like to get stars out of water though. So now let's just do a little thing called a triple jump into here, and then wall jump up to here. And let's just long jump across. Hello. Funny seeing you here. 
Hey, can you like ground pound me? Well, I can ground pound through you as long as you're moving. <laughs> Just ground pound when he's like, about to land, and you go right through him, which can, can knock him out really quickly. No, crushed again. Yes, again is, is like actually again this time because we're fighting him again. Anyway, let's grab that. Well, let's keep moving. Nice. Top of the fortress. I'm going to do it slightly differently than I, what I did just now. So instead of doing the triple jump, uh, wall jump, I'm going to actually go to the warp. Because that warp is actually in a very good spot. Especially because it resets the timing of everything. And so I can just triple jump off of that warp there to get up here. And actually, I believe I did something different last time I played this in advanced mode as well. So I can just... Hang on. I know I can do this. I can just f flip right up to the, the, st uh, the star, basically. There we go. We go. <laughs> this is going by so fast. It's been like five minutes, maybe three minutes since we started this level. I don't know. I'm not actually paying that close attention to the time. Red coins? Who do you think I am? Who do you think I am? I'm gonna get the cage in the sky. Which is why I'm over by the bomb. Hello. Please talk to me, thank you. So, you may think I'm crazy, but... Oh my goodness. Here we go. If we line ourselves up with the cage, and then move the camera right up, we want to have the shadow overlapping the red coin. And you kind of want to have half a red coin there. I learnt this from Family Jewels doing this on guitar. So, we just shoot like that. Something exploded. But we get the star. I don't know what exploded, but that was really... Interesting. Anyway, let's head back in, and I might need to go get a hundred coins now, possibly. I guess I can. Anyway, you don't have to actually worry about sneaking up to these prior plants, by the way. You can just dive into them, jump onto them fairly quickly, and then you'll still kill them. Anyway, let's grab some more coins. Oh, come on. Oh, there's so many coins just here. So many coins. It's so forgiving in these first levels, they just hand you coins. Also, I'm pretty sure I can get this one here. Oh, maybe? Maybe if I actually get a proper triple jump going. There we go. Very nice. I can get the ones up there as well, I guess, if I do the same thing trick that I used to get the star up there. If I really need those coins though. Don't really need them. But it makes it... I mean, I can get them sooner than... Like, yeah, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to say that I'm, I can get the 100 coin star faster if I do that. Okay, what's left in terms of coins? There's still a few blue coins from prior plants I can get, and there's also still red coins I need to collect. <laughs> this is going great. Okay. Grab that. I guess I can get the red coins at the top of the fortress first. Oh my goodness, if I can actually do this properly. Oh my goodness, if I can actually do this properly. No, I can't, apparently. I did it perfectly before, but not now. Okay, then. If that's the way it's going to be game. Just going to hop up like that, then. Just going to side flip wall jump. Just 
Side flips are also good for staying on the level if you're about to slide off of something. Okay, let's grab that. Oh, I didn't ground pound. Why? I was mashing the buttons. Come on, game. You should know when I'm mashing buttons. It's because the controller's dying. That's why. That's how you know. Oh, I missed. That's a shame. That's a real shame. I guess that red coin that gives me the cage star can live on. Anyway, let's just do a whole bunch of this. Also, there's a way to get the, um, the blast away the stone wall star without blasting away the wall. And it has something to do with the bridge and just falling off and grabbing the ledge that the star's in. It's pretty cool, but I don't know how to do it, and I wish I did. Anyway. There we go, we have 15 stars. Which is a pretty good number. But that is it for now. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.